Hey, Trail School again. Jenny here. I'm out in the forest. And I found this little creek. And then I found this, this tree had fallen down and it's like super red in color. Do you see how red in color it is? And then I thought, do you think I can, might find some animals that live in this fallen down tree? Let's see. All right, let's see if we can find something. Oh, uh oh, what's that? Is that a little worm? You know, before when I lifted this up, I saw a roly poly. Let's see if we can, oh, whoa, what is all that? What do you think that could be? Who's that crawling away from me? Ooh, and look at these signs of spring. What is sprouting in the forest? I'm gonna keep walking on my trail to see what I can find. All right, I found another tree that has fallen down. Although this one looks like somebody has cut it up. And I looked at it and I thought, huh, do you see some patterns? Not only do I see rings that represent how old the tree is, but also if you look closely, there's these cracks. They kind of remind me of slices of pizza. What made all of these trees fall over? Do you have any ideas? Hey, Troll School again. I've been running. I'm a little out of breath. Whew. A little sweaty too. Uh, but I wanted to stop because I found this, another tree that's fallen down. What's, what's up with all the trees that have fallen down? But this one has the roots of another tree. Do you see that? The roots of a small little tree have grown around the dead tree. Thought that was cool, wanted to share it with you. Let's look at this tree and its tree bark because it looks very different on the other side. How did this happen? Do you have any ideas? Also, if we look up close, do you see patterns? Who made these holes? Look at the color of the soil around this fallen down tree. It's got yellows and orange in it. Here's a research question. Why do soils have different colors? Okay, Troll School again. Jenny here again. Now I want you guys to tell me what exactly is this all over the forest floor? What could these be? They're all over the place. Came across this tree with its spiky leaves. I have a question for you. Who has been eating this leaf? Or this one? Who eats a leaf like that? All along this trail here, I found these plants. This one's in the sun, it's a little easier to see. And if you look closely, what does it have along it? its body? Why do plants like this have spikes like that? Or thorns?
Hey everybody, I'm back at my house and I just wanted to go over some of the questions I asked during my walk through the forest to remind you and I'll have these written out too for you. Uh, first I asked you, what creatures did I find in the reddish fallen down tree? Could you identify them? Why have so many of the trees fallen down? What makes a tree fall down? What happened to that tree bark? And who made those holes in the tree? Why do soils have different colors? What did I find on the forest floor? What ate the spiky leaves? What creature eats leaves like that? And lastly, why do some plants have thorns? See if you can come up with your own answer before you do some research or ask a, a grown up. And maybe we can talk about it during our next meeting. Thanks, friends. See you later.